Grandpa Newby reporting for duty. Every couple of weeks I put out a typical game, no edits, with a gun I want to use. This one I use the Horus. Here's the configuration. And you can see what it did for me in terms of modifications or ADS or that sort of thing. And the reason I do this is most of the time I'm not using a gun I prefer to use because I'm trying to make some content. I'm trying to test something out. I'm trying to see how specific configurations work so I can share those with you, my subscribers. So a lot of times I will get comments, wow, easy lobby, this, that, or the other. Um, and, and I understand that. There are various levels of play, and I'm sure most of you guys out there play at my level or better, much better in some cases. I've played against pros, and let me tell you, they are better <laughs> significantly. So I put this out here to get comments back to help me out so I can improve my play. I also invite people to join me that comment on the lobbies because if they are significantly easier, then it's your opportunity to play in an easier lobby and to do the things you want to do. I have had some of you join on me and I enjoy it every time, but please let me know you're there so I can turn my headset on and, and actually talk to you because a lot of times I don't even wear a headset. The last guy that joined on me, I was so glad he joined because he wanted to get easy lobbies. Well, the first lobby I think was easy for both of us. It was a stash house, team death match, and I think I ended up with 52 kills over a 4KD. He ended up doing quite well himself also with over a 3KD, somewhere less than that. Now. We had a good conversation going. We went into our second game, which was an emergency map, team death match. And these guys absolutely shredded us, the competition. They were all wearing their blacked rank play skins. And I knew it was going to be tough, and it was. And it ended up us getting shredded. Like I said, we lost. Now, everybody in the team except for me, had a maximum of a .6 KD. The guy that joined on me looking for easy lobbies ended up with a .48 KD. I ended up with a 1.28 KD in the loss. And unfortunately, the guy left before we could talk about it afterwards or play another game. I hope he comes back because I really enjoyed playing with him. So here's how I typically play. It's probably a typical lobby. Some are easier than others. Some are, like I said, all ranked players that are teamed up, playing like Shotzi and Scrappy and Abizi and Celium and those guys. But I tend to do about the same in those lobbies as I do in the ones that are easy. Um, Interested in your comments, though. How can I improve my game? This is free-for-all. So I like that because I play solo 99% of the time. I do sometimes join up with my son and his friends in college, and that's always a lot of fun because they are good players, and we get really tough lobbies. And we ended up doing well because we can coordinate with each other. Look at that guy in the corner. That guy spent the whole time in that one spot. So being a solo player, I can't rely on anybody else to hop on the hard point. Sometimes I get a good team that wants to win or to grab a flag in domination. I think my win percentage is about 1.2 to 1.3, somewhere in that range. I haven't checked it recently. It was 1.24 last time I checked. All solo games, except those very few. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So I will remind you that, that I, don't, I don't create the lobbies. If I did, I would create them, I don't know, easier, harder. But I think the, the game does a decent job of it. And the thing is, in free-for-all, I probably – have a victory about 95% of the time. That means top three. 
I'm number one probably 75% of the time. So you can take from that what you will as to whether I have easy or difficult lobbies. But skill-based matchmaking seems to always put me somewhere there. So we got one more kill to go. It's a Snickers win, but I won't play the Snickers song for this one because this is just a typical game for fun. For this one, I use the BP-50 because I think it's a strong, hard-punching AR, and I think maybe the pros would even use it if it weren't so deep into the season, or maybe they will change to it. I don't know if it's G8 or not. Last I heard it was. I think it's available in rank play now. I don't play much rank unless I'm playing with my son and his buddies. And then it's only a few games because they like to go 3v3 and beat each other up. So when I play free-for-all, I always use the demolition vest. I always put out two proximity mines. And here's the configuration for the BP-50. And there's the what it does for me. The red isn't significant in my mind, not for the way I play my play style. I'm generally aggressive. I get gacked by a knifer. And I will vary the gloves. I tend to like quick grip, even with sniping, because in free-for-all, you want to be able to switch very, very quickly. I will also trade a death for a kill in free-for-all. Because the key is, kill as many as you can. Get the Gakaru going, and if you have to buy the farm, do it. I always play with a turret, but you'll see on this one, I think I died three or four times putting the thing out. But I had enough of a, of a lead that I decided to try to put it in the primo spot, which is up top. <laughs> I get gacked again. So playing for enjoyment... I always play for enjoyment, even when I'm using a configuration that I wouldn't use normally. In other words, filming for a YouTube video. And I've also discovered some really awesome configurations and some weapons that I would use on a day-to-day -day basis if I didn't have a YouTube channel. Now, somebody destroyed that turret almost immediately. I was pretty disappointed in that. But I felt as long as I kept a 8 to 10 kill lead, I could take risks. I could do things I don't normally do when I'm trying to win. And I, believe me, I always try to win. Second place in the fighter world, I've said it before, means you're not flying home. You're landing in a parachute at best instead of with the landing gear. Worst, we won't even get into I particularly this this is these two are from my streams by the way I only streamed I think for about 45 minutes I played four free-for-alls came in first all four of them so skill-based matchmaking didn't kill me like it does some of you guys and I do understand that some people get absolutely frustrated with the skill-based matchmaking But like I said, I get the jumpers and the sliders and the gackers, uh, the stabbers. I think there are three in one of my games. They were after each other the whole time. The corner campers. Trying to get some situational awareness there. Just one more kill to go. And generally I die about five times when there's one more kill to go. Can't close out that last one. So I'm chucking and jiving and bebopping, and that's not going to be it. I really thought that was going to be it. I wanted to push myself and win by at least 10, and we did. Anyway, that's a typical game for me. If you enjoyed it, please like, give me suggestions, subscribe. Cheers, and peace to you.